Five waterfront housing complexes are going up in East Boston. Developers say this will become the new eight neighborhood, but long-term residents see this as a sign that poor people will be pushed out. There are people being priced out already. There, in terms of applying for um, things like Boston Housing Authority, um, you know, subsidized housing and Section Eight, they're already like. You know, huge waiting lists. However, other voices emphasize the fact that new housing is being created, which implies gentrification claims are being overblown. You know, as it relates to gentrification and displacement, we're actually creating new housing, not converting existing housing. The rents might go up a little bit in existing housing, but I think it's, it, it, it tends to be exaggerated how much it's happening. It's hard to know how much actual displacement is occurring because nobody really keeps track of it. There are no easy ways to track displacement, but urban planners say gentrification tends to expand. It starts with new development and then other developers come in, buy existing properties, refurbish them, and sell them or rent them. If they happen slowly, it doesn't put the pressure on the other rents. In the same way that if it's being built rapidly, if there's massive development, you know, coming into a community all at once, that becomes the signal to the other landlords, the other property owners, that they can increase their rents too. Since the increasing rents of East Boston is inevitable, activities and residents are calling for higher percentage of affordable housing, considering that 15% affordable housing according to BRA regulation is far from meeting the need of a community where the majority is low-income and middle-income residents. This story was reported by Xin Xin Yang and Si Yi Huo. For all things Eastie, this is Xin Xin Yang.